Yes, ma'am. How may I help you? Well, actually, I'm here to help you. My name is Stacy Johnson, and I'm the new store associate. And the HR staff told me to be here at 11 a.m., so here I am. You're going to be the new associate? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, but aren't you a little old? I mean, normally we have kids just out of high school doing this job. Oh, um, well, we all got to do what we got to do. I actually love clothes, so I think I'll be a great addition to the team. Please forgive me for my lack of enthusiasm. Um, it's just that older people don't fold as quickly. Uh, no offense, but it's the truth. Oh, well, I'll do my best. Where would you like me to start? Uh, why don't you start somewhere over there with the jeans. Fold the jeans. If anyone comes in, ask any questions. Um, do your best. Okay, is there any training involved? Any selling points on the clothes? It is my first day, after all. Lady. It's not rocket science, it's clothing. So get to it before I have to dock your pay. We're not doing anything. Okay, um, excuse me, what is your name? Ben, but you can call me Mr. Ben, because uh, I assume that you're a little old school. Okay, thank you, Ben. I'll get right to work. Hi, excuse me, do you work here by any chance? Yes, yes I do. Well, I just graduated from school and I'm gonna start applying for jobs. I do want to look more professional, but also like I want to feel comfortable for the interviews. And uh, to be honest with you, this is my first time applying for jobs, so I really want to make a good impression. Well, you've come to the right place because Stacy's is all about great fashion at affordable prices for the working women of this world. Wow, you're quite the saleswoman. Oh, thank you. Um, do you know where I should look at first? Well, let's see. Um, you know what? You can never go wrong with a blazer and mm -hmm. pinstripes. And I believe these would probably be your size. Would you like Great. to try them on? Yes, of course. All right, I'll show yeah. you the dress. Thank you so much. Right this way. Thank you. Wow, this outfit really makes me feel professional. I think this could be my go-to look for work. Outfit is fantastic on you. Thank you. Miss New Associate, um, can I have a word with you for a moment over here? Oh, mm-hmm, okay. What's up then? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. That girl can't afford any of the clothes that she's trying on. If you're not careful, she's gonna run out the store with them on. What are you talking about? Oh, don't be naive with me. This is the real world, Grandma. And girls like that can't afford clothes from Stacy's. They steal stuff. So I'd appreciate it if you just go back to folding and stop trying to sell that girl clothes. Um. Excuse me, but are you all talking about me? I couldn't help but notice you look in my direction. As a matter of fact, we are. Girls like you can't afford to shop in a store like this. So please take off those clothes immediately. Okay, excuse me, I've heard enough. Hey, you can't speak to me like that. I'm the manager here. Not anymore. I'm Stacy Johnson, the founder and CEO of these clothing stores. What? Is this some kind of joke? You wish. Every year, I go into one of my clothing stores posing as a new store associate to make sure things are running smoothly on the ground level. I have never met a ruder, more incompetent manager than you, Ben. Mrs. Johnson, I mean, this is a big miscommunication. See, with all the new associates, I like to joke around and tease them on their first day. My manager did it to me when I first started. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but that's still no excuse for your sexist ways, which have no place here at Stacy's. We're all are welcome. Now you get your things and get out before I call security. Fine. This store is a trash pit anyway. I want you to know that your clothes stink. Not as much as your breath. Now get out. Wow, I certainly did not expect that when I walked in. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry you had to witness that. The guy is a total jerk. Yeah, and he messed with the wrong woman. <laughs> hey, you said you were looking for a new job, right? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm looking for a new manager. What do you think? Uh, yeah? When can I start? How about now? Great. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me show you around. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Sorry, ma'am. I'll, I'll, 
I'll get my bags together. I'll be out of here in just a moment. You're sleeping in my parking spot, and because you're in my parking spot, I'm going to be late for my job. So would you hurry it along, please? My apologies, ma'am. It rained last night, and, and I'm still cold and wet. I'm just trying to clear my head okay, so okay. I can... I really don't care about your sob story. Get out of my parking spot! Yes, ma'am. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm... Okay. I'm just getting these together. This city is going down the trash hole. Ma'am, is there any way you can spare a dollar so I can get something to eat? Are you seriously asking me for a dollar after you've been in my parking spot and you're making me late? It's just I haven't eaten in two days. I, I don't know. I thought it was worth a shot. A I, shot? I, I... You know what? Why don't you get a job? Give it a shot. J-O-B. You ever tried that before? Yes, ma'am. Um... I actually had a job up until a few months ago. My mother got sick and I had to quit my job because there was no one else to take care of her. So I had to take care of her and, okay. and now I lost what my I job and I lost my mother. So I'm supposed to feel bad for you because your mother died? How do I even know if you're telling me the truth? Even if she were dead, why should I feel bad? I don't know your mom and I don't know you. I'm sorry, ma'am. I was just trying to explain my situation. Maybe you could go inside of your office and see if there's any leftovers from oh. your company's kitchen. Maybe you can bring them out for me to eat oh. something. So you want me to take food out of the kitchen in my office and bring it out to you? That sounds like a really good idea. You know, first, you're trying to be, make me late for my job, and now you're trying to get me fired? Are you kidding me? Look. I am never going to be out of a job, and I'm never going to be homeless. So, you're on your own, okay? Goodbye. Yes, ma'am. Oh, good morning, Karen. I hope you had a great weekend. Oh. I don't have time for chat. I am hungry. Did you get that breakfast I asked you to pick up? Right, yes. Um, well, I was going to tell you, actually, that your favorite coffee shop is closed on Mondays, but I did go to Starbucks, and I got you your uh, favorite... Yeah. Uh, you went to Starbucks? You think there's a one in a million chance I'd even eat that junk? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. I was just trying to get your call. Okay, you know what? One more word, and I'm gonna have you fired faster than you can say, Starbucks. Got that? Hey, Karen, how's it going? Oh, hey. Honestly, Jim, I've had a really rough morning, and I've got so much work to get done. We save the pleasantries till later. Uh, sure. Um, well, just so you know, the CEO is actually here. He's requesting to see you. He's in the conference room waiting, so. Wait, what? Why didn't anyone tell me the CEO was coming by? I, I, I don't know. I don't think anybody knew he was coming. He kind of just popped in. I guess he likes to check in on local branches to see how things are running, so. Well, I hate surprises, but I give it my best. Okay, cool. I'll let him know. Okay. Mr. Franklin, I wanted to say what an honor it is to finally Karen, please, come in and have a seat. Okay. What's going on? Aren't you... Homeless? Oh, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Okay. But you were just out in my parking spot, sleeping, and you were wearing ratty clothes. Is this some kind of prank or something? Am I going to be on one of those television shows? Unfortunately, you're not. So what is going on? Are you really the CEO? Because if you're not, I have security in this building and I will be calling them unless I start getting some answers. Okay, Karen, just settle down. I'll explain, okay? Five years ago, before I started this company, I had a job that I had to leave to take care of my sick mother. But when she passed away, I became homeless for six months and no one would even look at me. Oh my. But with the help of a local church, I was able to get back on my feet and at the local library, I was able to have access to a computer. And with that computer, I was able to build Franklin Technologies to the company that it is today. Ah, I didn't know that, and I don't know what to say. But why were you pretending like you were homeless then? Well, because even though I'm a successful businessman now, I haven't forgotten where I came from. And so I like to go around to the different branches every year to test my managers. Oh, so... You were testing me. That's right, Karen. And unfortunately, you failed. And you know what? 
It would have been bad enough if you just ignored me. But by berating me and judging me when you thought I was homeless, that's not in line with this company's values. So what? What are you gonna do? Unfortunately, Karen, I'm gonna have to fire you. Your behavior is unacceptable for this company. Fire me? You can't do that. I mean, okay, so who are you gonna find to replace me, hmm? Well, I spoke with your assistant, Jill, earlier this morning, and she seems to be more than willing for the job. Jill? You're replacing me with Jill? Oh, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck to you too, Karen. If you could just get your stuff and please leave the premises before I call security, that would be great. Whatever. You know what, this company is going down the toilet anyhow. Karen, a word of advice. In your next job interview, you might want to have a better attitude. Oh, shove it. Yeah, Jill, could you come in the conference room real quick? Thanks. Change. You got change? Excuse me, sir. Do you have any spare change just for food? Do you have any food? I... No, no. Are you serious? Get a job like everyone else. Stop being a loser. God, take a shower. Hey, excuse me, miss. Oh. Do you have any change to spare to help? Anything helps. What happened to you? I'm very sick and my social security ran out. I've, I've got pancreatic cancer and I'm in constant pain. What about your social media and your branding? I mean, there are places for you. You should not use that as an excuse and just strap yourself up by the bootstraps and do something with your life. I don't have a phone. Oh, I, you know, I know this struggle. You know, I am a influencer and I ha it's really hard for me to find friends. As a matter of fact, my only friends are on social media. Anyways, I'm, I think you're gonna have a great future. Actually, you should become my friend on social media. I'm gonna help, that is gonna really help you. You need to just do what I say. You're gonna be great. Yeah, anyways, gotta go, huh? Bye. Excuse me, miss. Hey. Could you spare just some change for oh, food? I'm, um, I'm really hungry. Let me see. You know what? I don't have anything. But hey, here, look. This is my lunch. You can have it. It's not a lot, but just at least it's a little something in your belly. Oh my god. Um, and hey, I, I'm headed into an interview. On my way back out, I can, I can grab you like some coffee or some water or something. That would be really amazing. Thank you. No problem. What's your name? I'm Steve. Hey, Steve. I'm Candace. Hi, Candace. Um, on my way out, let's talk a little more about, I don't know, maybe I can call someone for you or do something else, connect you with someone. I, I hate that you're out here. No, I don't, I don't have anybody. Oh, man. Well, I'll make sure to get you on the way back, okay? Thanks, Candace. All right. Somebody's late. Yeah, she was talking to the homeless man outside. Can't expect to get ahead if you always let others drag you down. And, um, how's one homeless guy gonna bring you down, Josh? Good afternoon, and welcome to the final phase of your job interview. A little backstory, uh, about, Three years ago, I created this little social experiment as a pre-screening part of job interviews for people that were interested in joining my company. Because before I was successful business owner, CEO Steve, I was smelly, lazy, homeless Steve. I was the guy that was too much trouble, that people didn't want to associate with that people thought was too much of a bother because he was just asking for their scraps. I lived in a bus terminal for about six months before I finally got access to the services that helped me get on my feet enough to actually apply for my first job. I wore raggedy clothes. I didn't have access to food or water or reliable sanitation. It was, it was a terrifying, 
challenging part of my life. But I believe it helped me value compassion in a way that I wouldn't have otherwise. Kindness is free. <laughs> Kindness is free. But when people behave in such a way that they feel as if their respect needs to be bought or earned with money or status, I, well, I have to question your ethics. I have to question your morals. Of the three people who applied for this job and came in for this interview, Candace was the only person who actually showed any humility, who showed any humanity. You know, she didn't unload her checkbook. She didn't pour out all of the wealth in her life. All she did was smile and offer genuine consolation. And she shared her lunch. She was generous and she offered to help. And that is why I'm proud to offer her a full-time position with my company. <gasps> Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. I will not let you down. This is not what my positive affirmations said today. I'm out of here. You can keep your job.